Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today we're doing a fantasy draft rebuild as the Denver Broncos. Now I just got finished recording my last fantasy draft rebuild where we got taken down by a quarterback. And I'm going to show you who it was because it's a little insulting. Let's pause this draft really quick. Let's go to quarterbacks. And you think maybe he'd start at the top. Maybe go with like a Russell Wilson, maybe a Drew Brees, maybe a Brady, Rogers, Matt Ryan. No, 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 no. Let's go to the bottom, shall we? Now you think maybe it's all the way at the bottom. It's not that crazy, but it is pretty crazy. Where is our guy? There he is right there. Jeff Driscoll. He beat us. He's a 61 overall. Now we're going to pick the same team as the Broncos. It's not going to be the same exact like players, anything like that. But that's where we're going to start. And we're going to add Keenan Allen to our team. 92 overall superstar X Factor. If we're going to have Jeff Driscoll. We're going to need to build some receivers around him, a running back around him. So in the second round, ooh, Tyree Kill still there. Why not? Tyree Kill, come on down. 96 overall star development. So I think that's a good starting point. Now I want to get a running back on this team. I don't know who it's going to be. It's going to be Le'Veon Bell. I mean, that's a pretty good weapons to give our guy Jeff Driscoll, I would say. We probably should go... Do we want to just give him a complete offensive line? Would that be a terrible idea? We could give him Antonio Brown. I don't think I want to do that. Woods is there. Brandon Cooks is up there if we wanted to do that. Tyler Boyd would be a nice pick. I don't think we're going to do anything about that. But tight end. I think we're going to give him Hunter Henry. The injuries have turned off. So we don't have to worry about that all too much. But 87 overall star development. Ranked 177. Trent Brown. Boom off the board. Now, I kind of want to go with another receiver. Like a Landry would be interesting as a slot guy. But I think what we're going to do... Ooh, Orlando Brown's up there if you want to do that. Is Quentin Nelson still there? He's not. So I'm going to go Orlando Brown at 83 overall star development. Now, if Landry's still here with the next pick, I'm going to take him. I might just let the computer take the defense. Not going to lie. I think that's actually an interesting idea. I think I am going to do that. Landry, are you still here, buddy? No, we waited a little bit too long. That's so disappointing. I wanted him on this team. Let's go offensive line then. Joe Staley, Costanzo's up there. Lawan, ooh. Eh, 28. You know what? Taylor Lawan, come on down. 83 overall. He's 28 years old. That's perfectly fine. I think I will just pick the offense. I, that means we're going to take Dris Driscoll, like, really early? Or maybe I just go pick by pick. Let, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's go right guard. Let's get ourselves a good old Shaq Mason. 86 overall star development. Do I want to get, like, a backup running back? Just throw somebody else out there? I think I kind of do. You got Le'Veon Bell and you back him up with Todd Gurley. Why not? 86 overall start of Elmo, which is, if I said that in Madden 19, you'd be like, you're an absolute maniac. That makes no sense. Gurley's not going to do that bad. Eh, well, he did. Ali Marpet, 89 overall start of element. Now we're going to do one more pick at center. Then again, we could go with another tight end if we wanted to. Maybe another receiver as well. I want to get our center out of the way. How old is Linder? 27. So let's add Brandon Linder to the team. Then maybe this is when we start going pick by pick. Yeah, unless... Actually... Where is Renfro? Is Renfro gone? Oh, no, he's way down there. A slot guy. That might be a nice pick right there. You know what? Let's get Jordan Reed on the team. Why not? Now let's go pick by pick. We could probably wait till like 15 or 16. Is it going to tell me who we picked? Oh, no, it's not going to. All right. So I'm just going to skip over this and I will show you at the end. Now, I just took Hunter Renfro. We're going to go get our guy. I didn't even know there was 47 overall quarterbacks in this game. But I guess that's just going to have to do. Where is he? There's so many bad quarterbacks in this game. Jeff Driscoll. Welcome to the team. Oh, you gave me Andy Dalton as a quarterback, but I don't want him, game. Don't you know I have the great Jeff Driscoll on my team? 
Now we have an 82 overall team, 88 offense, 75 defense. I don't even want to look at this, but I am going to look at it. Let's see. We have Dexter Lawrence. I like that. We have Tranquil. We have Hughes, but really nothing. We're going to have to draft some great defensive players. Oh, come on, Jeff Driscoll. You couldn't carry us to the playoffs? We went 6-10. and 10. That's really not as bad as I was expecting. The Chiefs 9-7, Chargers 7-9, and, and the Raiders 4-12. The stats, Driscoll, 4,200 yards, 32 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. I'll take that. Bell, about 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns. Gurley with 7. Receiving Hill, 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns. Renfro, 945 or 944 with 9 touchdowns. Allen, 889 with 4. Hunter Henry with 4. Jordan Reed has 4 as well. On defense, Tranquil, 102 tackles, sack totals. 5.5, I don't know how to say that name. 4.5 for Tranquil. Tranquil. Interceptions, three for Tranquil, two for Parker, a few ones to go around. Could Jeff, could, Jeff, could Jeff Driscoll be in the top 10 for MVP? No. Coach of the Year, Adam Gase. Offensive player, maybe? No, okay. Defensive Player of the Year, we have Tranquil at six. Offensive rookie, no, no, we have Hunter Renfro. That's right. Defensive rookie, Dexter Lawrence, maybe? Oh, no, Drew Tranquil, number one. Huh, all right. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, let's go take a look at our XP. Tranquil, I hope you have like 30. I know that's not possible. Four, not bad, up to a 65. I'll take anything I can get with that. Renfro has five as well, so everything on offense is good to go. Four for Dexter Lawrence is good as well. Four for Tranquil. All right, so we're not in bad shape, I would say. The Saints beat the Jets 24 to 21. Let's take a look. Mahomes, 265, three touchdowns. Wilson, 287, three touchdowns, one interception. Coleman, 67 yards. Cook, 61. Receiving Richardson, 9 for 153 with a touchdown. Curtis Samuel with a touchdown. Conley with a touchdown. One for Ertz. One for James White. And that's going to be it. Now, we basically need anything on defense except an end or middle linebacker, which I assume we can find at pick number six. I was hoping we did a lot worse than that. Could get some draft picks trade back. Actually, I should probably look at the trading back right now, to be honest. Good defensive tackles, good right tackles. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now I have to look at we could trade back just in case because we have so many holes on defense. We can trade back at another pick next year. That wouldn't make sense, though. Yeah, we're not going to have any one in one offers. I find that very hard to believe. It's not like the craziest thing in the world, but at number six, if there was a quarterback like this guy right here, Delonte Brooks, somebody would trade up. Let's go with them. Gilbert Freeman. He's a 76 overall, hidden development, 95 speed, 66 man, 76 zone, 71 player X. That quarterback's still here in the second round. That's impossible. A bunch of great quarterbacks. But we're going to go with Grant Wiggins. 75 overall, normal development, 87 speed, 70 zone, 75 tackle, 81 pursuit. In the third round, we're taking right outside linebacker Jeff Knox, who looks pretty good, I would say. 67 overall, I stand corrected. I mean, it's not bad. So we drafted a quarterback? You're not starting over my guy, Jeff Driscoll. Don't you even think about that for a second. He has star development, 65 overall, with all kinds of weapons, a beastly offensive line. I mean, our defense is looking a little bit better. A lot of work to do, don't get me wrong, but 84 overall team, 91 offense, 76 defense. I'll take that any day of the week. Come on, Jeff Driscoll. Where did we go? 6-10, so we were close. This division is god-awful. The Raiders 6-9-1, the Chiefs 6-10, and, and the Chargers 5-11. We were so close. Driscoll, 4,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. He's getting better. Bell, 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns, 12 for Gurley. Renfro, 1,100 yards on the dot, 10 touchdowns. Hill, 950 with 11. Henry, 694 with 2. Al is my first pick. I mean, step it up a little bit. 576, three touchdowns. Let's go look at the defense. Tranquil, 121 tackles, 106 for Wilson. Sack totals, five for Lawrence, three and a half for Fort. Basically nothing. Interceptions, three for Dunbar, three for Wiggins, the rookie. Where is Fro Freeman at an uh, interception, 84 tackles as well? What did Wiggins have, 89? I'm thinking number one, number two, and defensive rookie of the year easily. Wilson, MVP. Hey, Driscoll at eight. There we go. Coach of the Adam Gase. Uh, we want AOC. Driscoll at number six. Good, good, good. 
No, none of our running backs. That's surprising. Defensive player of the year. Nothing. Offensive rookie, probably nothing. Oh, no, we have Bolton at number eight. Defensive rookie, Wiggins at number one. Freeman at number three, which is very surprising. Because Freeman's the guy with hidden development. So I don't really understand how that happened. I imagine that makes Wiggins go up to star. I hope. Tranquil. I'm not Tranquil. Driscoll with three up to a 68. There we go, my guy. Defensively. Where is he? Freeman has five star development. We also have four for Wiggins. So still a lot of work to do. I mean, someone in our division did worse than us, which is just ugly. The Jets beat the Cowboys 37 to 31. Okay. What are we looking at? Wilson, 444 touchdowns with an interception. Rivers can never get it done. 290. Carry on Johnson, 94 yards. Touchdown for him as well. Touchdown for Wilson. Two for Rashad Penny. Ah, uh, receiving. Thomas, 8 for 143. Tate, 10 for 131. Two touchdowns. One for Samuel. One for Richardson. And that is going to be it. Andy Isabella's on the team as well. So is our whole division going to be in the top 10? I would have to imagine, right? I imagine the Lumberjacks right there, that's the Chargers. The Chiefs are up there, uh, pretty much basically. So what are we going to do with this pick? I want to trade it back if we can, which we're not going to be able to. Driscoll's like doing enough just to screw me over. And I don't really appreciate it. So let's just see what here. We're realistically the best defensive player on the board. We're going to take him. Left end seems pretty good. Tight end, defensive tackle, free safety. We don't need another corner. Ooh, this right outside linebacker looks really good, though. Do I want a corner, or do I want a right outside linebacker? I think corner is going to be the answer between those two. I want to keep looking just in case. No, I think we're getting another corner. Why not? Jared Woodley. He's a 73 overall, hidden development. 90 speed, 68 man, 73 zone, 73 play rec. Is that outside linebacker going to still be here? I doubt it. No, he looks long gone. What about Drummond, though? Mid first, let's take him. 72 overall, normal development. 73 tackles, 77 hit power, 80 speed, 83 acceleration. They keep drafting quarterbacks for us. That's not going to work out. Renfro has superstar development, which is awesome. But the defense, it still needs a lot of work. I want to cut. Actually, let's give it a quick generate best lineup. Because I want Woodley to be starting. But Dunbar is pretty good. And eh, let's get rid of him. Why not? To the playoff. Jeff Driscoll has carried us to the promised land. The playoffs at 10-6. and six. We're playing against the 9-7 and seven Lumberjacks. The Chiefs 6-8 and 2. The Raiders 6-10. and 10. How'd you do, Driscoll? About 3,800 yards. 35 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Good, good, good. Bell, 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. 7 for Gurley. Hill, about 1,300 yards, 7 touchdowns. Renfro, 687 with 10. Allen, 664, 6 touchdowns, 5 for Henry. On defense, Tranquil, 121 tackles. Sack totals, 9 for Curry. 8 for Drummond, the rookie, which is good. 6.5 for Lawrence. Interceptions, 3 for Tranquil, 3 for Hughes, 3 for Freeman. 1 for Woodley, the rookie, which is good to see. Yearly awards, what do we got? MVP, Russell Wilson. Tra or not Tranquil. Why? I keep getting those mixed up. Driscoll's not up here. Coach of the year. There we are, number five. Offensive player. He should be up here, I would assume. There he is, Driscoll at eight. Good, good, good. Defensive player. Tranquil at three. No, the Broncos. Offensive rookie. Nothing. Defensive rookie. Drummond, number one. Woodley, number two. Ambrose at number seven. All right. What do we have for XP? Two for Driscoll. Gets him up to a 71. Good amount of the offensive line. Renfro has three, which is good. On defense, what are we looking at? Woodley, star development, five XP points. Drummond has five as well. All right, let's give it a quick upgrade. Can we beat the Lumberjacks? I kind of don't want to. It will hurt me, but I think we should be able to. I guess not. We lost 28 to 21. Driscoll just can't get the job done for us, and it's very disappointing. Let's see who the quarterback for the Portland Lumberjacks are. Some random guy. 172 touchdowns. Driscoll, 266. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. Michelle, 77 yards. Touchdown for Bell. Two for Mostert. Receiving Allen, 82 yards. Touchdown for Marvin Jones. Two for Renfro. One for Njoku. And that is going to be it. The Jets beat the Saints 28-24. Is this the third straight time in the Super Bowl? 
Mahomes 244, three touchdowns. Wilson 317, three touchdowns, one interception. Cook 62 yards, 35 for Coleman. Receiving Coleman seven for 115, two touchdowns. Ertz has two, one for James White, and one for Paul Richardson. All right. What do we have for a draft pick? Number 24, we still need a lot of help on the defense. Feel like I'm letting Driscoll down a little bit, you know? Matthew Beckett, 67 overall, typical Ravens. Not getting good players. Yeah, I said it. Bunch of good left tackles. I'd like to find, like, a good defensive player, but I guess this late into the draft, that's kind of hard. This guy might be good. He actually seems like he's going to be pretty good. Nothing for right end. Nothing defensive tackle. Nope. Eh. Late third, really? Where is this guy supposed to go? Mid first. I don't want another corner. I guess I'm going to go. Was it Lance Henry? Why not? He's a 72 overall normal development. 79 tackles, 78 hit power, 85 speed, 84 acceleration. In the second round, I'm getting our strong safety, Marquise Burton, or Bruton? Bruton. 70 overall, normal development, 90 speed, 74 zone, 58 tackles, 77 pursuit. Where did Driscoll go? Who is this guy? I know they drafted him last year. But Driscoll wasn't supposed to be a free agent. Where did he go? Is this going to blow up in my face the last season? He's gone. I have to find him. I'm getting him on this team. He ended up on the Chicago Bears. How dare you leave this team? I'm insulted. I'm going to give him my first, the second, and a first next year. And if he doesn't take this, I don't know what's going to happen. Thank you. And yes, I understand. That means I have to cut my superstar quarterback. But I was doing this for science. You know, we just needed to know the answer. 84 overall team, 92 offense, 75 defense. Take a look at the defense. It really didn't get much better. It's kind of disappointing. But let's go to the playoffs. And we didn't make the playoffs in our final year and went 7-9. and nine. I mean, the Lumberjacks went 12-4. Who's their quarterback? I know it's just some random guy, but Driscoll, 4,100 yards, 33 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. He's an absolute beast. Bell, 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns, 12 for Gurley. Hill, 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Renfro, 997 with 12. Henry, 691, 7 touchdowns. Allen with 4. On defense, Tranquil, 107 tackles. Sack totals, 5 for Curry, 4.5 for Monroe. Interceptions, 2 for Monroe. Tranquil, Woodley, 1 for Freeman, 1 for Burns. That's kind of disappointing. I thought we'd at least win a Super Bowl or at least get to a Super Bowl. But I guess not. That's just the way it is, you know? Tranquil up to a 72. I mean, I'll take that. What is, how old is he in this now? 30, okay, that's uh, not that great, one might say. What about on defense? Bruton with four, Henry has three, Knox has one. Not great. The Lumberjacks are unstoppable. They beat the Saints 23-17. to They went on quite a run right there. PDX, what a weird just abbreviation. Tyler, 241, two touchdowns, one interception. Mahomes, 226, two touchdowns, one interception. Cook, 106, touchdown for Armstead. Born with a touchdown. Touchdown for Nikhil Harry and Nikhil, or touchdown for Spellman. Oh, what else is down here? And Burton. All right. Well, that is going to be it for this video. Didn't work out perfectly, but it was a fun experiment. So hit that like experiment. Experiment. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come on back for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.